Hi guys, Tom Morrison here, and today we're going to help you to correct your pressing technique if you're running into any kind of compensation pattern. So if Jenny just runs through them first of all, so she's gonna unrack her bar. The very first thing that we wanna sort of look at is when it comes to a heavier press, so one rep max time is one arm over par in the other. So it's one sort of starting to go up a little bit more than the other, and then you're really trying to bring the head through at the end, and one of the arms isn't fully locked out. So what that could do potentially would be to strain your trap especially, or just give you intense shoulder pain in here long term, especially if this is happening all of the time and you're not really aware of it, this is something that you want to nip in the bud quite quickly. Other things would be as well, just leaning right the way back. So I'm a big arch in the back as we press up. I'm basically trying to do a standing bench press. These are not things that we want to be doing. Other elements as well is if your shoulder flexion is really, really good on one side and really limited on the other side, the bar potentially is going to do this. Now this could look a lot more subtle. You could just maybe rotate with your body as you do this, but in some cases, if Jenny just does a press for me, it would just look like this, but you're again going to be running into that intense shoulder pain and just being limited by your numbers and the things that you can do, okay? So we're going to show you a drill now that is really going to help with that. One of the protocols that's commonly recommended is the seated press, but I can still see a lot of compensation things that are able to happen from this. You can still rotate slightly. The core isn't really involved that much. So what we really need is something that's going to challenge the core and make your body have to think for itself. Single leg pressing is going to be what we're going to use to assess these compensations and to also eliminate them. So the very first thing we want to try before we even touch a weight is can we stand on one leg by itself? So if you can't do this, you've got bigger problems already. So as long as you're stable enough, you could easily hold this for a minute at a time, then that is good. Oh, Jenny's having a bit of wobble. There we go. So if you can easily hold that, then this is fine. You can start to work on this drill. So what Jenny's going to do is we'll go left arm first of all. That's it. And then she's going to get herself up. So as if she's doing a strict, strict dumbbell press. So first of all, without the leg added, just see, can you press that weight easily and hold it above your head? That's it. Awesome. So if we've got that, we have the components. Let's start to add them together. So she's going to lift up one of her legs, first of all. And so what she's done now, she's lifted her right leg. So she's now trying to connect the left shoulder to the left hip. And she sees, can she do three presses in that position with minimal, minimal wobbling? Awesome, she can. So that would be a pass on that side. Then she changes legs. So now we're trying to connect the right hip to the left shoulder. As she sees, can she press three times on that side? And this is very dependent on your own strength as well. So if you do not find this challenging in the slightest, then get a bit of a heavier weight. You're not gonna go for a one rep max with this. This is to learn about compensations. It's not to build muscle or add tons of strength. It is to teach your body how to work in the right way without compensation. So now we'll try the right arm. And again, whichever leg you wanna go for. You just need to make sure you do both. Don't be trying to figure out which ones you've done and which ones you haven't. Just say, I need to do both legs on this arm. So she's going for the left hip and the right arm now. It's that cross body pattern. That's a pass on that side, and then the full same side. Two, and one final one. Three, awesome. So it's a pass for Jenny on all of those sides. If we were to find, now, so if we lift it up again, say you were able to get three out of the four variations, okay? So say Jenny was on, she had her left side, so all one side going, so lift the right leg up and she was to try, start to try and press the dumbbell and her foot was to have to go down. She would like stumble, she'd have to fall, she wouldn't be able to finish that off and that would mean all of her problems would be down this one side. So simply working on this drill with a lighter weight will really start to help that and what you would see if you were feeling that would be one of those compensations starting to come in. So if you're not really able to engage here, you will collapse and that'll be what causes that twist in the bar or any sort of issues whenever you're pressing singly as well. So again, this is also great for single arm pressing. So a lot of people um, jump on right or you need to do single arm pressing but again you can still do single arm pressing wrong so yeah as we see right there if she starts to rotate as she's pressing one side but she goes to the other hand and she's going straight up and down no problems that's still a compensation so it's not just enough to be doing your single arm presses you need to make sure that everything is staying where you want it to stay and that you're not having big changes um, whenever you're doing your exercises so that's why it's very important to record yourself when you're doing things sometimes so again if we just run through the drill again one more time very quickly we go up, we do the left hand, we do three on one side. Then you just change legs. And all the time, everything's having to work in the right way. Your glutes have to switch on, your abs have to switch on. If they don't, you stumble. And make sure you breathe as well. Don't hold your breath as you do this one. Sit. And it's a nice one as well if you use it in your warm-ups. 
just write down what weight you used and each time you can start to add just one kilo at a time and you can start to actually progressively load this movement. So it's a big thing for me with a lot of corrective drills that people get so far with them, say with bands and little small fractional plate exercises that they're doing that you don't get the benefits from them anymore. And like as you can even see with something as simple as some single leg balance, some people get to a point where this just isn't challenging anymore and you need to start to step up your game a wee bit more if you want to really start to push the boundaries with your training. So give that a go and let us know what you think.